What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Tim Sports Talk. And today, the Washington football team's schedule was released, as well as the rest of the NFL. And we now know the, we already knew who we were going to play, but now we know in what order, where everything is going on, and what time are the games. So we do have three preseason games Patriots Bengals and the Ravens I love playing the Ravens the final week of the regular season or excuse me the preseason I should say because it basically turns into a home game no matter where we're playing so right now we're playing at home anyway but even when it's at the Ravens it's 45 minutes up the road and it's an easy last game of the preseason to get ready for the regular season so um, I'm not going to predict the preseason games who cares it should be fun to watch, get some rookie uh, rookies playing in there and see what happens. But, all right, let's hop into the season predictions, and we're going to go game by game real quick. Chargers week one, Justin Herbert coming to town all the way over from the West Coast, and most West Coast teams that come to the East Coast already struggle. I think our defense has improved. We should have a well Good time getting after Justin Herbert. Uh, Justin Herbert had an amazing rookie season, but he did go get skunked against the Patriots. And I think we have a great, great defense. And I think we stifle him and win week one at home. Uh, Giants week two is going to be an interesting game. This is a our tough, like one of the toughest division opponents, right? Because it's between them and Dallas. I don't like the Eagles this year, but the Giants they they are an very very interesting team they still have daniel jones but they've fixed like they've uh, beefed up their offensive line i should say they got kenny galladay not the biggest fan of Kadarius tony but they don't have to rely on him too much he's kind of a switchblade kind of a player uh so and they've had a, already had a really good defense and now they've uh, added some more pieces of that so i like the giants but we win this game i think it's gonna be a tough one but i think we come away with the w actually and win this game at home going to 2 and 0. Buffalo week 3, I think this will be our first loss and we will move to 2 and 1 after 3 weeks. Uh this is going to be a tough game. Uh Josh Allen is fantastic. Stefan Diggs is a beast. Uh they have one of the best offensive lines in the league so that could pro- should help them stifle our great defensive line a little bit. Um and they fixed their defense up a little bit in the draft and in free agency so I think they're going to have a better defense than they did a year ago. Josh Allen should show up again. No reason he should regress this season. Uh, And I think that we end up losing to the Bills. Falcons week four. This is a team that we've historically have troubles with because they're such a high-powered offense. But I have us winning this game and moving to three and one. And I know they just got Kyle Pitts. They still have an aging Julio but Julio nonetheless and they have Calvin Ridley they've helped with their defensive or offensive line I should say and their defense is actually better than people give them credit for especially in the run game but I still think we come away with a win it's going to be tough but we come away a win against the Falcons so three and one right now I have us losing to the Saints and I know people are like what they don't have Drew Brees anymore well, they're like in the last two years, something like, I don't know, nine and one without Drew Brees. This team is extremely well coached with Sean Payton, and I think they're going to have it figured out. And I think Jameis Winston is actually going to be the starter there, and he actually has a lot of talent. I know everybody knows him as the guy that threw 30 interceptions, but Bruce Arians has a much different style of offense where he says, hey, throw it to him whether they're open or not, right? That Tom Brady and him had a dispute where, hey, Mike Evans is open. You got to throw it to him. And it's like, Tom Brady's like, no, he's not. Like, I'm not throwing it to him when he's got he's covered. But in this offense, they're going to make it much easier for him to go through his progressions. Michael Thomas, ultimate slam boy, right? They got Alvin Kamara. So I like this team. I hated their draft, but they are well coached. And I think we lose this game and move to three and two. Chiefs, uh, we don't have enough to beat the Chiefs. I'm sorry. I, I, we just don't have the quarterback to keep up with them. I would love to stifle this team, but I don't think we do. So I think we move to 500, 3-3 three and three against the Chiefs. For obvious reasons, Pat Mahomes, I mean, come on. And their defense is a little underrated. They usually play pretty well. And uh, they only lost the Super Bowl so bad because they had no O-line. They went and got Orlando Brown. They fixed their O-line a little bit. I think they'll be all right. Packers, Aaron Rodgers. 
I think we beat this team. We've beaten Aaron Rodgers twice in the regular season the tw- last two times we played him. Uh, we've got a great defense and a solid offense. We do have to go to Lambeau, but I do think this is an upset according to like, the Vegas predictions that it will have us to lose. But I think we can upset them here and move to 4-3 and three after seven weeks. The Broncos. The Broncos are a sleeper team to me, but the problem with them is they didn't address their O-line enough. And I think that that's going to cost them, and we are going to get after Drew Locke. Drew Locke's going to have a couple of turnovers, and we beat the Broncos pretty handily. Buccaneers, similar to the Chiefs, we just don't have enough to keep up with that top echelon of teams yet. Uh, I think we could fight them hard. We did last year, but they did not have Devin White on defense, uh, so we lost 31-23 to last year. I think it's probably going to be something similar. Uh, because we added some more weapons, but they brought basically brought everyone back from a year ago. They have chemistry. They know what they're doing. They're a Super Bowl champion. I think they have a really good season and beat us. So that puts us at where I was five and three. Now we're five and four. And the Panthers, this might surprise some people, but I have us losing to the Panthers. And the Panthers are building something really, really nice right now. Matt Rule, the head coach, is just really transforming this team into a contender. They traded for Sam Bradford, which I think he can have a much better season this year behind a better offensive line, uh, but and also uh, like better offensive line than the Jets. I don't think they have a great offensive line, but it's, they're better than the Jets. But they have so many weapons. You have uh, Christian McCaffrey, obviously. You have DJ Moore. You have Robbie Anderson. Uh, like They just have tons and tons of weapons. They drafted a corner in J.C. Horn, who I think is a pretty solid corner, and their defense looks actually pretty, pretty good as a young unit. And I think we actually lose this game to move to 5-5. Five and five at this point the Seahawks I have us beating the Seahawks we should have beat this team last year with Dwayne Haskins but Dwayne Haskins is so bad we lost the game I don't care who's at a quarterback whether that be Kyle Allen whether that be Taylor Heineke or Ryan Fitzmagic I don't care we should beat the Seahawks and I have us and it's at our house we should be winning this game and moving to 6-5. and five. Raiders, they're not going to be able to stop our defensive line. They're not going to be able to score a bunch of points without with their, with their offensive line. It's terrible, and I don't think they're going to have much to stop our team. This is a team that's pretty, pretty bad, and we are going to beat the Raiders and move to 7-5. and five. Cowboys, I have us losing the first game to the Cowboys. I think we're going to split with the Cowboys, a little preview for the next game, but... Dak Prescott is still there. They usually win on our turf. We win on their turf. And I think we're going to lose the first one on December 12th, but then get a Christmas present later and beat them. The Eagles, I think we're going to sweep the Eagles. So we face them twice also in the last season. Our last five games are actually against NFC East opponents, which is really strange to me, but that's how it's going to roll. And we end up coming out of that four-game stretch at 10-6. and six. Now, we're sitting on the precipice of the playoffs going against the Giants, who we already beat once in my prediction. But unfortunately, I think this is where we're actually going to lose a tough one with Ryan Fitzmagic. Ryan Fitzpatrick ends up turning into Ryan Fitztragic. He's never made the playoffs before, and I don't think that changes, honestly, because I think we're going to lose to the Giants, and either the Cowboys or the Giants are going to steal this division with a slightly better record, like a division record, and... I, it's either the Cowboys are going to sweep the Giants or the Giants are going to sweep the Cowboys, and both of them are going to sweep the Eagles. And I think the Eagles are going to get swept by the whole division. So that would put them at 5-1 and one in the division with a tied record at 10-7, and seven, and we miss out on the playoffs by one game. We may be able to catch a wild card at 10-7. and seven. We caught, uh, you know, uh, The Bears caught one at 8-8 eight and eight last year, so it's not impossible. But for now, I have us at 10-7 and seven and unfortunately missing the playoffs, at least missing the division. So maybe we make the playoffs at 10-7. and seven but definitely not winning the division. But that's my prediction. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Where do you have us? What record do you have us doing? Where was I wrong? Where was I correct? And hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Also in the description below, there's a Discord link. Come and hop on our Discord and come talk some football with us. And last but not least, there are donation links in the description below. If you feel so kind, you could donate to the channel. Thank you for watching. And until next time, see ya!